Josh Apple here with the Raspberry Golf Academy. Today I'm at Virginia Golf Center and in honor of July 4th I'm going to talk about power sources because there are four of them. So I'm not talking using your glutes or your core or generating speed necessarily. I'm talking about the four ways to produce power efficiently in the golf swing that ultimately lead to more speed and more distance. So this could be achieved whether you're six foot six or five foot even. If you do these things you'll hit the ball further to maximize your distance. And the first one is properly using your wrists. So in the golf swing, the wrists need to be mobile. People who tend to lock their wrists or have a really tight grip pressure really struggle to get speed through the wrist, but this is actually a very efficient way to get speed. Your wrists are moving in so many different ways in the golf swing, three to be exact, but this way in particular is a great way of producing speed and ultimately power. And if you're not able to be mobile with your wrists, you're losing one of the most important potential power sources. So next is how to use your arms properly. So we have wrist first, arm second. So arms are a great speed generator, great way to produce power. If you're someone who doesn't efficiently use your arms or you break down your arms, then you're not getting as much power as you possibly could. Right, so if you get to the top of your backswing, see this arm extension? If you break down your arms or keep your arms bunched up like this, or if your arms become disconnected, those are ways you're losing one of your most important power sources by not using your arms efficiently. Third is rotation. Obviously we need shoulder rotation and hip rotation. That gets the club going a lot faster and produces a lot more power. If you just swing your arms and your wrists and forget to rotate, then you're missing a very important key to generating power and generating distance. Right, if you just swing your arms back, that's not nearly as much effort and power as getting rotation with the shoulders and with the hips. In a perfect world, you would get about 90 degrees of rotation with the upper body in your backswing and about 40 degrees of rotation with the lower body in the backswing. And then fourth would be weight transfer. So if you use your arms and your wrists efficiently and rotate, but never transfer your lower body, transfer your weight, you're missing, again, one of the key four power sources in the golf swing, right? If we just swing stacked up over the golf ball without getting efficient weight transfer, right side, left side at impact, you're missing a ton of potential distance. So people with tight grip pressures that don't effectively use the wrists, people that break down their arms, don't effectively use their arms, people who struggle to rotate, whether it's upper body or lower body rotation, or people who struggle with weight transfer, as in they're not putting their weight on the right side in the backswing, left side at impact if you're a right-handed golfer, you're missing out on a key power source in the golf swing. So if you combine those four things together, you'll be able to maximize your distance. I'm Josh Apple, and that's your tip of the day.